Hey tribes, I just want to read a quick verse for you. Romans 13, 1 says, let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God and those that exist have been instituted by God. Um, if you haven't heard yesterday, Governor Abbott uh, paused his scheduled reopening phases as we've seen cases of COVID uh, increase across the state. Um, we've also more importantly seen uh, less and less hospital beds become available as the hospitalizations has been on the rise as well. Um, and so I just want to give you a quick update and let you know how we're trying to remain safe and wise as we continue to gather in person at Argyle West every Sunday morning. Um, I read that verse about governing authorities the Apostle Paul gives us in Romans 13 because at the end of the day, we need to heed the advice of those who God has placed in authority over us. And one thing Governor Abbott and in, in our elected officials here locally and across the state are strongly encouraging is the wear of masks. And uh, we want to continue to strongly encourage you to do that as we gather on Sunday mornings. Uh, masks are available every Sunday as you come to Argyle West. They're right up front. You can bring your own as well. Um, th this disease spreads, uh, it seems like, in uh, airborne uh, close encounters. And so uh, spreading out six feet um, as well as wearing a mask, especially while we're singing, is just an imperative and wise way to keep one another safe. So we want to encourage everyone that's coming to be wearing a mask uh, when you come. And as we sing out and praise the name of Jesus, gathering together in person. Uh, we'll continue to have services at 9.30 and 11 a.m. And aside from the wear of masks and having hand sanitizer available uh, throughout the building, I want to remind you to, uh, to do what you can to safe distance as well. Uh, that includes sitting just with your household. Um, we, we don't want to try to mix households and sitting areas. There's kind of one bench per family. We'd love for you to stick to that. And then also part of the joy in coming together is seeing one another and catching up and asking how life is and praying for one another. And I just want to encourage you to congregate and to, to see one another, but do so in a safe distance manner. And the best way to do that right now is to be congregating outside. We've got an awesome covered overhang in front of the school. So before or after service, uh, connect with those within the church, but it seems safer to do so outside than inside. So wherever possible, we encourage you to congregate outside. Um, again, these are just practices we can put in place to be wise and to still enjoy gathering together. Uh, we're not going to be kicking people out of the front door, but are strongly encouraging you to wear a mask, use some hand sanitizer and safe distance, as our governing officials have asked us to do. Uh, fortunately, our little pocket of Denton County hasn't had a ton of cases on the rise, and we're going to continue to monitor both local and statewide um, suggestions and guidelines as we consider to think about uh, what events are happening in the future, when we can offer children's ministry again, um, and we're hoping to do that soon. But the more that we can put these safe practices in place now, uh, the better the opportunity that we can continue in opening things and doing things as normal, just like our governing rulers have said uh, in the weeks behind us. And so I encourage you, again, wear a mask, at safe distance, and come and worship with us. If you're sick, please stay home. If you're in an at-risk population, we love you. You can watch online every Sunday at 4 p.m. Uh, those of you who are able and, and able and willing to gather on Sunday morning in person, it'll be at 9.30 and 11 at Argyle West. I love you guys. Look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday. God bless.